Hey everybody, this is Frill. Welcome back to our playthrough of Extended Timeline World War II as the German Reich. So we are preparing for the invasion of the Soviet Union, but we did in the last episode invade Yugoslavia. We took a little bit for ourselves, gave the rest to Arkadasia, and actually Yugoslavia was allied with the French, so we were able to take all of what was France and mainland Europe. I think they still have a little bit in the Mediterranean here. They still have a couple of their... Um, minor nations that were broke off from them in previous wars. So yeah, we're preparing for this invasion of the Soviet Union. However, we have no allies, I mean, other than our vassals. The Chinese are allied with the Soviets, even though the Chinese are a republic. So a little bit... I think there should be a greater disparity uh, for relations when you have differing ideology between, like, uh, republic and communist and that whole deal there, so... I mean, I guess we would have that same issue, uh, being that we're fascist, but, you know, that might be a good mechanic for them to have in this if, if they were to do something like that. And yeah, like I was saying, the, I don't think there's going to be any chance for us to sway the Chinese. Uh, they were in that war with the, with the Soviets until recently, so we're building up on the border here. We've got a bunch of ships that are about to be done. It looks like we've got, Two sets of 30. We've got one set up in the Black Sea. Actually, with that said, I was going to... Our Fuhrer just died. We now had... I can't click the right area. Pure, uh, pure, Fuhrer Joseph Broser. So that is... He's a 343. So he's not as good as the last guy, Maximilian Angerman. But he's still pretty good. So not too bad. Apparently we can still have the British as, an al uh, as a rival. I'm kind of surprised by that. Let's go ahead. I did, uh, yeah, of course, I gave the territory to Dacia, so that did bring down their liberty desire as well. So the only guys that have some liberty desire are Ukraine right here, so we'll be giving them territory in the Soviet invasion, hopefully. Um, Norden has a little bit. I was thinking uh, we might go invade Iceland and give that to Norden. They might be happy about that. It's because they're taking some time to get where I want them to go. So, yeah, I think we're primed, about ready to go. We've been improving relations with our new vassals, but I think we're pretty good with them. I'm going to go back to improving with the U.S. over here. I wonder if they would ally with us, actually. No, not even close. Okay. Yeah, I was looking at the military sizes between episodes here. The U.S. have the largest. We have the second place. The Chinese are out of manpower. Uh, so that'd be good for us going to war. The Brazilians are actually going to be on the side of the... That's another one we could look at. The Brazilians actually like us, so... Maybe if we could ally with them. Francia... Let's bring these guys off of the British. Great Britain is now in India. Oh yes, and in case you missed it last episode... Well, it's probably gone already. But we had Russia. Yeah, I think it's gone. I think Mongolia took it. <laughs> we had like an independent Russia get like two provinces there in the middle of Siberia just about. So that was a bit amusing. We can offer an alliance with the Brazilians. So let's do that. Possibly bring them off being allied with the Soviet Union, at least for the war. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I doubt it. USA declared war upon their new enemy, Mexico. So they're finally... Apparently Ukraine has changed already from being... Being the um, fascist here. So what did they get changed to? Principality. Okay. Alright, well that works. I mean, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Okay, yeah, we had a bunch of admin power. So I'm going to boost our stability. If I can find it, of course. Do have a little bit of overextension because we're coring up those couple provinces in Yugoslavia. See, that cost a little bit. How much is this going to cost us? Uh, so we might as well go ahead and do it. We have the military tech. to get a new group of ideas, but I'm going to wait on... I'm going to think about that a little bit and figure out what we want to do. 
where are we at in terms of declaring war? I was planning to declare war like right away, but so Mexico is not going to be in that. Iraq. Let's ally with the Iraqis here and... Okay, we've got a British Palestine there. I thought that was like British Mash uh, Mashriq uh, in the AI only series. So just trying to bring some alliances if we can off of the Soviets. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. And I'll think I'll probably be declaring war here in a moment. We improved our relations to the max with the US. That's all we're going to be able to do. Let's see what we've got here. I didn't realize we were actually all the way up to four, uh, th yeah, five speed, actually. Invest in new technology, diplomatic tech. We've got a lot of military tech as well. So actually that has, it's, uh, yeah, Brazil is no longer in this picture. So we can go ahead. China's a big deal, but I think we can beat them on the field. So let's go ahead, declare war. We'll see what happens. Unfortunately, I think our generals probably aren't as good as I'd like them to be, but we'll see what happens. And we want to keep our armies kind of tight together. Obviously, we have all the help of our vassals as well, which we should double check what they're actually doing. We will tell them, should we do that supportive? Yeah. I think they should be supportive. We don't want them doing independent operations. Spain has entered military coalition against us. Okay. Catalonia as well. I'm not going to worry about this too much. <laughs> I mean, we're if any military coalition is going to defeat us right now, it's going to be the Soviets. So, actually, we've got... Two fleets, so let's let us love Rabe, something like that. We'll try to siege out here, or um, not siege out, but these guys in their coalition against us. It will be their downfall. I, t I told I told you guys in the last episode if these Spanish want to go up against us, we don't. I don't mind making an RK Iberia if we have to. So we've got. Ah, okay. Soviets moving into Romania, our soft underbelly. We'll try to take them out. Probably move these guys here. We got 405k manpower. I think that's the most we've had. Lose 10 prestige or diplomatic power, we'll lose the di diplomatic power. Okay, well, should we, uh, that's just Ukraine, so I'm not going to worry about them too much. Do want to keep an eye on our rebel factions, though, in case something, we've got a bunch of these uh, more battleships being built, so... Looks like we've got the Soviets in Leningrad there. They won't be able to come out to play. Alright, so we siege down Minsk. Move on to Smolensk, I think. No, we can't. Ah, oh, we have to do Kiev first, probably. Yeah, it's not looking anywhere for us to go there. Won the Siege of Kiev, okay. There we go, we can get to Smolensk from there. And these guys, moving on. I thought that was that province, but no, these guys can move on as well. We'll move them up here. So the Soviet fleet there is not too big. Alright, and we won that one as well. Where, where are you guys going here? I think they're heading towards our stack. When are they going to arrive? Uh, 24 April. 
We will r arrive a day late. Okay. I bet they, I wouldn't be surprised if they decide to cancel out on that. Can we give these guys a leader? Try one of these. Because that's no leader trying to attack them. They're going to get a crossing penalty. No crossing penalty on this one. Yeah, these guys actually bugged out on that one. Okay. Alright, so we're defeating the Soviets there. How is, uh, just looking at, like, war exhaustion. So they already have some at war exhaustion. Ukraine does because they already got sieged out. Let's get this territory back for them, though. Assuming we win this, and we will, they should be pretty happy with what they end up getting. 16th of May. Okay, we're going to be too late on that one, so we'll head this way. We have lost Kiev, okay. Okay, move. Okay, no, that's not sieged out yet. We will go. Oh, yes, we're still moving to Smolensk there. If you have somebody siege out Kursk over here, cannot move there yet for some reason. Ah, because we lost Kiev. Not sure why we lost Kiev, but we did. why we're losing this one. We've got two stars and they have none. And we're not even, we don't even have a crossing penalty. They must have got a good roll on that or something like that. Let these guys join up. Hmm. Ah yes, this Kiev problem is coming back to bite us in terms of forts. We're going to lose this one. Yeah, we're going to need to be a little bit more, uh, smarter on all of this. We need larger stacks. Brazil declared war on Argentina. Okay, so those guys were defeated and our shattered retreat. Looks like we've got some Ostland helping us out there, so not the end of the world. So yeah, we're actually in the negatives there. China's army's growing. What was the total size? I didn't really pay attention. So very even. They've got some more artillery than we do, but I think we'll be okay. Where these guys retreating to? Unfortunately, far away. We're gonna have to run some operations back here. To it's uh, I guess we can't assign a general to that one. Yeah, I'm not liking this. Not liking this. I think we're. Not being smart on all this, so we've... Okay, we won the Smolensk, so let's get out of here. Merge up with this these guys, I think. Okay. The day 12th. Okay, we're gonna get out of there before they can get there. And we won the Siege of Kiev as well, so... I think I'm going to move the about 100k down to Dacia, Ukraine. We we'll probably have a stack rebuilding over here in, I guess that'd be Slovakia, southern Poland, maybe. This group should merge up here in Ostland. Got some more missile destroyers ready to go. British are apparently moving some uh, light ships here too, so... I 
think that Turkey being an ally would have helped at this point, or maybe even Iran, because they would have been able to go into Iraq here. But actually, the Saudis look like they're at war with them, or possibly, yeah, it's occupied by them. The Iraq is trying to finish off the Saudis there. It's going to be a pretty major crossing if we have to cross that. I've always always have issues with these rivers here in uh, Romania, Moldova. Let's see if these other guys try to merge up here. Ah, okay, there we took the shift there. For a moment I thought they might win, so we have Plague. We'll just spend the ducats for that. So far we have lost about 45,000 manpower. Now we're gonna lose this one. Yeah, Dacia, help us. Can we get these guys in there? It might be, not be the smartest idea, but if we can get some allied help. We lost the Siege of Smolensk. These guys can get back into the fight here shortly. Okay, we might be getting the upper hand here finally. It's gonna be close. Tide of the battle looks like it might be shifting not in our favor. Oh, slant. Okay, there we won. We won that one. Need to. Yeah, we've got these guys shattered retreat back. Let's get Moldova sieged back. Our biggest problem now is like reinforcing, I would say. As we attack with no general here, let's get these guys up in here. With a terrain negative, so... I think that we need to set our AIs to go aggressive. That might help. Can we get to this battle before... Yeah, we did, at least with a little bit, before that we lose it. So yeah, this one's actually been one of our more difficult wars so far, so that's actually, I would say, that's a good thing. I didn't want it to be... A complete pushover. We've got some Croatian separatists that we need to deal with, so let's go ahead. Let's actually check before we do that how long it's going to take for them to actually rise up. 1.1 years, so let's go ahead. Won't cost us much military power anyway, so go ahead and take care of that. Okay. Kind of resetting where we are. They're going to have to siege back territory that they had. Merge these guys up. How's our war score doing? Like, why? We've lost some battles here, but we've I'm certain that we've won. Actually, we've won just as many as we've lost. We do have a slight ticking war score going negative. Okay. Everybody still has high war enthusiasm. Soviets do have more exhaustion than we do, so... Are attacking with slightly less than ideal morale, though, but they're out of the question there, so... Uh, we'll take the inflation hit there, which we'll immediately try to deal with, with a little bit of admin power. Okay. these guys all sieging out these territories. Get on the ball here. Just looking at what... We've got Kursk. Just looking at forts that might be in our way of strategic importance. 
All right, but it does look like we're out of time for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll continue our war in the next one. And if you did, please hit the like button. It really helps with the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.